When it comes to countries with a great work-life balance, South Korea isn't high on the list. This country is notorious for its workaholic culture, with intense schooling and long hours fueling huge economic growth since the Korean War. But for 22-year-old Hwang Jun-pyo, the old way is not his way. He recently left college to focus on his true passion, spinning music. When you see the kind of hours that your dad works, is that something that you want for your own life? He says, these days, whenever I get home, my dad seems to come home late. It makes me think, could I work like that? Would I be able to do well? It's a debate that's raging in South Korea after a controversial proposal to let employees work up to 69 hours a week, including overtime. President Yoon's government claimed it would actually give workers more flexibility by letting them bank overtime to use at other times for longer vacations or parental leave. But unions, and especially millennials and Gen Z, are outraged. And now South Korea's government is scrambling to walk it back. On average, South Koreans work about 120 hours a year more than Americans, according to the OECD. South Korea's work culture is so intense that many workers flock to nap cafes like this to squeeze in an extra snooze on their lunch break. An Sae founded Mr. Healing Sleep Cafe in central Seoul, just one of four jobs he works. Is this a symptom of a culture that is overworked? He says that nap cafes are gaining popularity because of South Korea's corporate culture, which includes working overtime and attending mandatory team dinners. And South Korea is dealing with a major demographic crisis. It has the lowest fertility rate in the world. Professor Cho Hee Kyung says overworking is a huge reason why. Fewer and fewer women want to have babies because they realize that having a baby means that it's the end of your career, effectively. And also, uh, the long working hours mean that fathers are unable to participate properly in uh, child rearing as well. The debate about work-life balance is playing out across South Korea, including at this pharmaceuticals factory south of Seoul. Progressive by Korean standards, a shift here is only nine hours long. Huang Sung Kwan is MFC Company's CEO. He also happens to be Huang Junpyo's dad. Would you like to see him go back to school to study science or engineering? Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I think, uh, uh, frankly speaking, I want, uh, I want, I want that. But uh, who decision? My son decision of my my son's life. Huang Sung Kwan chalks it up to a generational divide. Younger Koreans prioritizing enjoying life over making money. He says personally, a work week of 50 to 60 hours seems about right. For comparison, mm. in the United States, yeah. it's 40 hours. 40 hours, you 40 wow. hours a week. Back at home, Huang Junpyo is getting ready for his overnight shift at the nightclub. But he hasn't ruled out one day joining his dad's business. He says, lately, I've been thinking about it. But for now, I want to focus more on my work. In the future, when I'm resting or in my free time, I want to think more about how I plan to live my life from now on. After a huge backlash, an advisor to President Yu now says he believes a work week of more than 60 hours is unreasonable. South Korea's government says it's going back to the drawing board and promising to do a better job of listening to workers and young people. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.